All done and said, let's discuss the word head. Let's talk of its seven uses as a noun without a scowl or frown. Hopefully we will reveal all. Her head hit the wall. In my personal opinion, obviously here it means cranium. Me, you have beckoned. Let's get to the use second. He had to use his head. What has been said? I will speak in a manner plain. He had to use his brain. To the third use, let us come. My pal, my friend, my chum. She had a good head for business. This means more or less. If you reflect in solitude, here it means aptitude. I ask you both to come to the use fourth. The head of the church, your reputation will be besmirched if you do not explain in a manner plain. For words, I am not at a loss. Here it means boss. And let us now arrive to use number five. As a noun without a frown. The head of the queue, in my humble view, will the start or talk that is what I have got. We'll be in a fix if we don't discuss use six. The head of the river means the source. We all know that, of course. Let us not refuse to come to the seventh use. All done and said, beer with a head. Means froth or foam, now without a moan. To its use as an adjective, let us come, my pal, my friend, my chum. The head waiter means main. To know this, I claim. As a verb, head has uses three. We can clearly see. The procession was headed by the by the mayor, explained in a manner clear. It means was led. Let's move ahead. A team headed by a line manager means supervised. I speak in a manner wise. He was heading for the exit, explained in a manner plain. He was moving towards it. I explained with determination and grit.